Hello everybody. I'm gonna try another marble, but on a smaller, a little bit smaller canvas. And it says that I need seven ounces for this. This is a 10 by 20 canvas, but I'll need to add about an ounce. So that'd be eight ounces. So I can use a big cup, but I don't wanna use it. I don't know if I wanna use a big cup or not. Before I used flip cups and it turned out really good. We'll try it with one. Let's we'll see. I'm using white. A lot of white. Got my white in today. A tiny amount, and I do mean a tiny amount of paint gray. Okay. More white. Teeny tiny amount of burnt umber. When I say tiny, this is what I mean. Teeny weeny tiny amounts. I've got one each of those. I'm going to put a teeny, teeny amount of phthalo blue. Probably too much. That's how much I put in there. That's probably too much. Okay, this time I'm going another tiny amount of burnt umber because that's what's closest to the blue, so that's what I'm putting in this one. Teeny, teeny amount. Move that out of the way. This is a nine ounce cup. If I go to nine ounces, I'm okay with that. A little bit more Payne's Gray. Finish off with the white. Okie dokie. Okay, we're going to try this as a flip cup. Hope it works. Got a little streak of that paint's gray coming out right there. My blue. Get some of it right in a couple of places there, a couple streaks. See it inside the cup. Got a little bit of blue. Tiny bit of brown showing.
This is Artist Loft White, by the way. Payne's Gray, Burnt Umber. Has much on the outside of the cups I had on the inside. Okie dokie. What I need is a corner catcher. I think this is going to be pretty. Turn it this way, maybe you can see it better. You saw no more blue than I had. Now it's coming through. And it's looking like a pony down there. Is that a bubble? I think so. Covered. Oops. Messed that corner up, didn't I? It's okay. We will stretch it a little bit more. If you've ever watched the Harry Potter movies, you've seen Hagrid say, I should not have said that. That's me. I think I should not have done that. It's pretty. But I don't like this big swoopy thing right here. I do like all this. Don't particularly care for that blue right there because it's a little too strong. And this and of course of up here is too. So let's see what we got this corner on right here first. Forgot to turn my light on again, my lamp. Okay. Oh, my lamp's over beside the wall where I did the big painting. There's no silicone in this, by the way. In any of this paint. I don't know why I added the blue. I just thought the blue would go so pretty with brown and with 
gray, which it's a beautiful combination. That's not like this whole side over here. I don't mind this. It's this thing right here. And then all this blue makes it look like an animal face. See? Let's see what we can do. May not be gonna move. Or it may be just taking its sweet time. Stripping off down here. Let's get going here. We're going to get it. Better. I'll take it like that. So, that's funny, the big white dot right there in the middle of that gray. mind it if it's just a little bit right there. I just don't want the whole thing to look swoopy. Like the paint started running and I didn't straighten it back up. Now, what are we going to do about this? Not as solid. It's got white underneath, so... I don't think there's any way to, well, there might be a little gray under there. There's definitely some gray under there to be pulled into that big white blob I didn't like. Get over here. See, I keep messing with them. If I don't love them, and I think there's something that I need to do to stretch a little bit more, or move it over a little bit more, now that looks like an elephant's ear. <laughs> yeah. I'll just keep playing with it until I get all the paint off the canvas. That's funny. I could have left it. Y'all would have been totally happy. I may cut the video in half. Come on, smooth out. I don't like this. It's, I don't know. It looks weird. And that looks like an eyeball. Shit. Now I'm stuck my corner, finger in the corner.
Since I'm so picky, maybe I should just start putting double the amount of paint. Come on down. The price is right. Looks good except for I stuck my finger in it. My thumb. In that corner. Let's try this. Pick up some gray. So I'll at least help it roll on off a little bit. Not enough gray. May not be able to fix that corner. I have to leave it. Well, I think I'm done fiddling with it. Torch it. Believe it or not, there's still quite a bit of paint on there. And I mix this thinner than what I've been using the last couple times. But the, I think it was the white was not quite, I mean, it, the white was Floetrol and Artist Loft without any water in it. So, two parts Floetrol, one part water. I mean, one part paint. So. Okie dokie, think I'm done. Wish that corner, wish I hadn't stuck my thumb in that corner. But I think the rest of it is very floaty and smoky looking. I'll let you look at it like that. And if I turn it around this way, you see it from that angle. You can kind of see the different colors. I just think these are so pretty. I mean, they're not flashy. They don't have a lot of color to them, but they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep doing them. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody watching, taking the time out of their day to spend a few minutes with me and my crazy art journey, because that's what it is. It's a journey which I've been in art since the 90s. I started teaching myself how to paint oil paints and watching Bob Ross. 
and Gary Jenkins and his wife, Catherine Jenkins. And if you want to learn how to paint flowers, you definitely need to watch Catherine Jenkins and Gary Jenkins paint wet in wet with oil. It, it, they are beautiful. And they've been around the world. They've taught everywhere. So um, that's how I got started. Then I got busy doing other things and got back into art and busy doing other things and back into art. So I've been playing with it ever since the 90s. So hopefully I'll stick with this for a while because this, you it's the never knowing what you're going to get that thrills me and keeps me coming back. And then I can always use some of my pores for backgrounds for brush painting. And then the background's already done. I have something on the canvas and it's not just a big, white, empty, intimidating canvas waiting for me to put some color on it. And that was kind of how I always felt, when I, especially when I first started painting. So enjoy your day, have a wonderful evening, and thanks for stopping by and watching what I do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. That almost looks like a little dolphin hanging out. I don't know. I'm going for marble and getting all kinds of stuff. But I do love the wispiness of the colors in this and how it kind of twines through the painting. That could be a fish. This could be fishies. So, sorry about the glare. It's my old headlight and my window. I'm in the basement and it's afternoon, so.